how do you know if you've got the right grind size? You can only tell if you have the right grind size by extracting espresso. It's a combination between dose amount, particle size and tamp pressure. So we'll show you how to do that today. We're just going to grind some coffee now. So we've ground our coffee, now we're just going to collapse and tamp in the filter basket. I tamp with about 15 kilos of pressure and I use the cap on the tamper as a guide to dose. Just wipe the top of the basket and the lugs, insert the handle and brew immediately. One of the key guides to whether you've done a good job of grinding, dosing and tamping is if you see around about 11 or 12 seconds on the shot clock before espresso starts to flow. And you can see from the rate of flow of the espresso that the pores are nice and straight, the colour's quite dark, and the flow's not running away, but it's not choking up and dripping at the same time. So you can see we've done a pretty good job of our dosing and tamping. So what if your espresso flow is not perfect? There's only two elements that can affect it. It's either dose or grind size. I suggest that you focus on getting the dose right first. It's one of the most complex elements, but it's pretty easy to solve. Just make sure that each time you dose your porter filter, that the top of the cap that's on the tamper is level with the top of the filter basket after you've tamped. If you hold that particular reference point every time you dose, then you only need to adjust the grind size. So once you've nailed the dose, all you need to do is adjust the grind. If your espresso is flowing too quickly, that means you need to make the grind finer. Make a small change in the grind, holding dose constant and extract espresso. If it's still flowing too quickly, make a further change and repeat this process until you get the right rate of flow. On the flip side of that, if espresso is flowing too slowly, all you need to do is make the grind coarser. Make a small change, extract another espresso and assess the rate of flow. If it's still too slow, make a further adjustment and repeat until you get the right rate.